At St. Patrick's Parish in Northfield, there's now a regular opportunity for healing. Father Tom Lasowski has begun a series of healing masses in which he offers the sacrament of the anointing of the sick. Father Tom, who battled a life-threatening illness himself, wants others to allow themselves the opportunity to heal mind, body, and soul. Carolee McGrath has our story. Smiling and joy is what happens when Jesus touches our hearts. Let us go forth and celebrate <laughs> in a way where we honor that gift from the Holy Spirit. At the 4 p.m. Mass at St. Patrick Parish in Northfield, Father Tom Lazowski welcomed visitors and parishioners alike. More than 70 people attended the third healing Mass held in the last eight months at the small church in the rural town on the Vermont border. Five years ago, I wouldn't even have said the word Holy Spirit. I wouldn't have talked about it. But a lot has happened to Father Tom in the last five years, and a lot has changed. And it came about from my being sick a good five years ago. That sickness resulted in me being revived during a surgery and I was in a coma for 36 days, which followed over the last five years, 24 additional surgeries. The next surgery coming up sometime around June, which will be a spinal surgery. What started out as a bout with diverticulitis led to severe complications in sepsis, a bacterial infection in the blood which can be fatal. Father Tom knows all too well about sickness and suffering. His road to recovery has been long. From all of that, I grew a sensitivity to healing masses, anointing within mass, anointings, the movement of the Holy Spirit, and all the things involved in our community's health and continuing to grow. Father Tom says he had an encounter with God while doctors were trying to revive him. He says it changed his life. I truly and firmly believe that I had a conversation with God. It not, was not a tunnel or anything like that. It was like a golden glow, me surrounded in it, no body. At that point, I felt a complete and utter peacefulness and it was as clear as day and will remain with me for the rest of my life. We help you with grace of the Holy Spirit. May our Lord Jesus Christ, who frees you from sin, save you and raise you up. Amen. At the end of Mass, people lined up on the altar to receive the sacrament of anointing of the sick. Father Tom performed the laying on of hands and anointed each person on the forehead and hands with oil of the sick, which is blessed by the bishop at the Chrism Mass at the beginning of Holy Week each year. Before the Second Vatican Council, the sacrament was only administered when someone was close to death. Father Tom explained many people don't realize that has since changed, and the sacrament is administered for those who are sick, the elderly, and those facing surgery. He adds it provides spiritual healing and unites the suffering of the person anointed to the suffering of Christ. The sacrament of the anointing of the sick can also be used in a community. When it's used in a community, it's there because the sacrament itself, like any other sacrament, is supported by other people. It's supported by the people of God. It's supported by the community of our faith. And what it does is it conveys, as you're giving it, absolution. It frees you from sin, while at the same time giving you strength in faith, mostly in spirit, in psyche, in soul and in body if it be God's will. More and more people are showing up at St. Patrick's for the healing mass. This time there were 55 people who received the sacrament of the anointing of the sick. Among them was Father Tom's very close friend, Al Prunier, who was battling ALS. My friend, my best friend, through this holy anointing, may the Lord in his love and mercy help you with the grace of the Holy Spirit. Al Prunier is a 43-year-old husband and father of two. He was diagnosed a year ago and has difficulty speaking and lost mobility in his arms. My husband has ALS and any sort of hope, any sort of faith that we can involve in that is pretty much why we come to these masses. Jill Prunier recently converted to Catholicism. The couple has two young children who served at the mass, nine-year-old Anson and six-year-old Mylena. 
It may not heal you, your physical um, ailments, but you know, his thing is it heals you mind, body, and soul. So um, even though it may not heal you or cure you from your disease or whatever, it's kind of healing you from within and making sure you keep that faith with you um, throughout your journey. During the Mass, Mylena made her first communion, an exception made by Father Tom to make sure her dad would be able to witness her making the special sacrament. I would say that she knows things a lot more than most adults do, because most adults don't go to, con go to confession. Father Tom says the Prunier family are an incredible witness, even in the midst of their suffering. He hopes more people will trust in God's healing and grace and join him for the next healing Mass plans for April. Reporting for Real to Real, I'm Carolee McGrath. The Holy Spirit. May our Lord Jesus Christ, who frees you from sin, save you and raise you up.